the Redwood Gospel Mission's mission itself, you know, through the power and grace of Jesus Christ, we mobilize people to transform lives. They challenged the community. They said, rather than complain about what's going on downtown, rather than complain about the person who's on the corner, rather than do that, they challenged the community to say, what can we do? It gives us an opportunity and mobilizes us to work with those people in our community to spread the love of Jesus, the power of His Spirit, and to help them in their lives. And that is the driving motivation for me for any ministry I get involved in. It's to do it unto the least of these, to do it unto Jesus. I know the Lord brings a lot of people there by His Spirit. If you've thought about it and want to do it, I would encourage you to take that next step and fill out that application and step inside the Redwood Gospel Mission and see what happens to you because you will be transformed. You may come in here thinking that you're gonna make some sort of a sacrifice. Believe me, the, the, the blessings are all going to be yours. The growth is all going to be yours. The transformation, along with getting to watch the men transform, is going to be yours if you devote yourself to this and spend time in the mission. Redwood Gospel Mission takes the time to listen to the volunteers, to listen to their concerns, and to address them, which I think is really exciting. Rather than saying, well, you, your fears are meaningless or whatever, to say, yeah, we understand your fears. We understand your concerns. We can help you. There are butterflies in your stomach, but along with it is the opportunity to get some training. And in the past, I'd always been well-trained and well-prepared for anything I'd volunteered for at the Redwood Gospel Mission. I really believe that my whole purpose for life right now, in this season of my life, is coming every day to the mission. People come to Redwood Gospel Mission to volunteer, and often they do it so that they will feel better. They'll feel good about themselves. Or sometimes I go in with the idea that um, I'm going to help the poor, the less fortunate. The reality is you're going to go in and you are going to be changed. The, the transformation that's happened has affected me so much to see them become who God has so designed them to be. Believe me, you need to be here for things that God wants to show you and teach you and you're the one who's going to grow. I come away with new life every day for being there because life is imparted to me by all those around me. You may want to call them homeless and you may want to call them addicts, but I call them life givers. They give me life. They give me hope for tomorrow. They give me a purpose.